I'm speaking with Colleen Graham about Graham Town's three day summer horse camps for girls. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Now, can you give me a little backstory on what Graham Town offers and how long it's been around for? Um, I started to, bring, to build Graham Town uh, 24 years ago, since 1997. And um, what I'm offering right now is the little girls horse camps where they come for three days. And what they can expect is to come to a little cozy town that's <clears throat> a replica of an old Western town. And it gives them a chance to get away from offline, actually, from technology and just really use their imagination and be creative. They can be, you know, the school teacher in this, the school or they can have a pretend wedding uh, or they can be there. There's, you know, I take girls of all ages but they can just really be creative. We have lots of different crafts. And in between time, we are off and on our horses, learning lots about just um, everything from grooming to looking after their horse to doing fun things on their horses. We go for, you know, about an hour ride at a time and then come back in. So we might go to my 100 acre wood where we've got uh, Tigger's trail and Eeyore Avenue and Piglet's Path and stop at Winnie's Way for a tea party and it doesn't seem to matter how old you are that's always lots of fun I, I think I'm a kid at heart <laughs> and we play man tracker which is kind of like hide and go seek on your horses so the older ones you know we can split into groups they still get lots of really all the riding that they would like and the younger ones it gives them an opportunity to learn on really quiet horses but they are able to um, be together because the the older girls they really like to mentor the young ones too so um, you know all my horses are geldings they get along and if they don't they can't stay the same for the girls so they learn that it's just really nice to be happy and get the goodness of the horses and with even COVID affecting uh, things last summer what safety precautions will be put in place to avoid COVID-19 during these camps sure so I screen all the attendees before they come I have a great hand sanitizer that is not flammable before they even enter the property we sanitize everything. We've got some really good uh, sanitizer that kills all back germs in 30 seconds. We do doorknobs. Every time they use a brush, it goes into another container where it's sanitized everywhere where they've been. And um, we're outdoors. So it's kind of unique because we have small numbers, just like eight of us. So it gives us lots of room for social distancing. And then when you're in the buildings, um, I do I have masks that I'm offering. And this year is going to be kind of cool because they're, they're going to be able to have just a disposable mask or a mask that's got our logo on it. And we're going to embroider their name on the other side. So when they are in the buildings, um, we can have all the doors open all the time too because there's lots of airflow and lots of fires going outside. So um, we're, we're pretty um, COVID friendly. I'm always watching updates and adjusting as we go. Oh, perfect. And for residents who are curious, when and how can they sign up for these camps? They can just call me, um, Colleen Graham. I, if you go on Graham Town Facebook, my number is there. If you go under grahamtown.ca, I have a website. Um, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. It's best to just contact me because it's nice to know a feel for where your kids are going. And uh, I know if I'm, I, I'm a mom of three girls and when they were little or whatever age they are, it, I always want to know where they were at. They're going to be with big horses that are like big dogs. They're really gentle, but it's still nice to know lots of details and get that feel for where your child's going to be. They can book in, I open up the first part of May. I winter my horses um, about an hour away. So I have to wait till the ponds start to thaw a little bit so they have a place to drink. And um, the grass grows a little bit, then I can move them and we're, we're ready to go. And then my after school programs go May and June. 
And then again in September, if they like to do some fall riding. In between times, we do the horse camps, uh, birthday parties, trail rides, uh, staff parties. Uh, new this year is I've just gotten my um, facilitation and certification to do assisted learning, and um, equine assistant learning. It's super cool because it's going to take in a, a bigger compass of people that want to enjoy horses without riding them because the horses become our teachers. And we go through different stations and props and the horses reflect back to us how we're showing up. So it's really neat because it, it, uh, it shows us, you know, different life skills um, that we might wanna start to work on to, to be our fullest potential. And is there anything else you'd like to add for a resident snowboat? Uh, just that the new this year also I'm offering a ladies authentic you workshop and retreat where they can come for overnight you know as as women and as moms we don't always take that self care but it's something that they can do and the ones that do want to ride can book in in the evening for a ride so I have uh, four dates set aside for that two in July and two in August that they can sure call and ask me about all right well thank you so much for joining me today Colleen yeah, thanks very much for having me.